If you were to ask me what's wrong with me, I would probably have to start by saying I hold grudges. I hold a lot of grudges. I have very harsh and extreme feelings when people do me wrong. I hang on to them for so long and it rips me apart inside. It's nothing I do intentionally, it's just something about me. When I was a little kid, my older brother would hit me, take my toys, push me down the stairs, say really mean things to me. And I would start crying and I would go and tell my mom and my dad. My mom didn't really give a shit. She would always say, oh, my sweet Dylan would never do that. Oh, you're tattling. Oh, you're making this up. And my dad didn't really do shit about it either. I can remember every time we would go to the pool, Dylan would always hold my head underwater about maybe 40 seconds to a minute at a time just to amuse himself. And nothing had ever been done about it. My parents did not really care. I guess that's kind of where it began. I started to learn very early on in life that people were allowed to treat me whichever which way that they wanted. And I was never allowed to say or do anything about it. I was expected to sit there, shut up, and take it. There was a boy who I had beef with when I was in kindergarten. You know, stupid kindergartner beef. I don't know, he probably like took my goldfish at lunchtime or something one time. I don't even remember. One day we got in an altercation and he had taken one of my favorite toy cars and thrown it down the drain. The details of what happened afterwards were a little bit fuzzy, but I don't recall any disciplinary action being taken, and my mom just told me to get over it, and my dad was with my mom, saying things like, oh, well, you have so many Hot Wheels cars, oh, you're so selfish for being upset about just this one. It just started to cement the idea even more that people were allowed to treat me however they wanted. The last time my older brother put his hands on me, I was 15 years old. At this point, I was bigger than him and I was stronger than him, and I was so tired of the way he treated me. It's worth noting that he has Asperger's syndrome. I don't even know if that's still the correct terminology for the condition, but I think that's why my mom like protected him so much and treated him like a little prince while I was just kind of left in the dust. The dishes in the dishwasher were clean and I went to go and grab a spoon or my soup or something. Dylan grabs me by the back of my hair and just drags me away from the dishwasher and says move the fuck out of my way slave. That was his uh, favorite nickname for me by the way. Because when I lived at my mom's house, I would do the dishes, the towels, and I would take care of the yard. Despite my mom going and saying that I wasn't doing enough, that I needed to be doing more, and Dylan going and regurgitating these things, Dylan knew very well that I was taking care of a lot of stuff. So he would refer to me as Slave. That was my nickname. And um, I was 15 years old. At this point, I was physically larger than Dylan. I was boiling with testosterone and male hormones from puberty. And the only thing that I could think of in my mind was this filthy, pathetic creature had the audacity to put its hands on my luscious, beautiful locks. And so I took our metal paper towel holder and I took the paper towel roll off and I chased him to his room and started beating him with it for all the years of torment that he put me through. It was the best feeling that I've ever had in my entire life because for the first time ever, I was getting some of my own back. I can remember the feeling of my jaw aching with the anticipation of sinking my teeth and ripping away his flesh from his bones. I don't care how edgy that sounds, but if you've ever been in a physical fight 
we really, really hate someone. I'm sure you can relate to what I'm talking about. Just the wild, primitive desire to just bite. Dylan was screaming for dear life at the top of his lungs. And so my mom comes in his room and she grabs me and pulls me off of him. It's worth noting that my mom easily physically restrained me because she was morbidly obese and I was just a scrawny little 15 year old boy. So she had a good like 200 pounds on me. But she pulled me off of Dylan and she told me that if I ever did anything like that again, then she would call the police on me. Why? You, you never called the police on Dylan when he would hit me and put his hands on me when we were when we were younger or even in recent years this is not up for discussion envy you're gonna keep your hands to yourself or you're gonna go to juvie okay when i was a freshman in high school there was this boy named cameron cameron started um bullying me to get brownie points in front of the other kids i guess and this was something that went from verbal abuse to he would physically assault me and I was never allowed to do anything back. The school had always threatened to send me away if I were to do anything to defend myself because I had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was younger. Anytime Cameron and his boys would do something to me, the school would turn a blind eye. But anytime I so much as looked in their general direction, they would go and paddle on me and I would get in heaps of trouble. And this was something that went on from freshman year all the way to a year after I graduated high school because we lived in the same neighborhood. Once again, people are allowed to treat me any which way they want, and I'm not allowed to do anything about it. And I was always labeled as an angry kid. Oh, he has anger issues. He's this. He's that. All these different labels were put on me because I would lash out and I would have normal human reactions to being silenced and to being neglected by my mom and psychologically tortured by my dad. Mental health matters, um, bullying awareness matters, yeah, and until it was me. Until I would have normal human reactions to people treating me unfairly. But no, we're, we're just gonna sweep Envy under the rug, it doesn't really matter very much. But every single time I've ever tried to take a stand and take a step forward, I always get dragged five steps backward. I really hate it. It really rips me apart inside. I decided I would just record my feelings because I really don't know what else to do. No, do not ask me if I'm okay or if I want to talk about it, please. Because I've said my piece here and I want nothing more to think about it right now. So that's that, I suppose. I hope you all have a good rest of your night. It's almost 5 in the morning for me, and I just haven't been able to sleep. These feelings and these emotions, they just eat away at me from the inside out. I don't know. I don't know what to do.